I'm Brian Oren. I'm here to talk to you about the Testo Smart Probes Kit and some of its great functionality. And in the new case, it's got space for a lot of different new probes, 510i being one of them. It's a differential pressure gauge, a manometer, and I'm gonna show you how to measure static pressure with the 510i using some static pressure probes. All right, so the first thing we need to do is zero out the 510i to make sure that it reads accurately. Zero the pressure sensor. When we position these static pressure probes, whenever possible, we want to point the tips towards the direction of airflow. So if the direction of airflow is coming this way, we want to point the tips in that way. I've done a lot of testing and I've seen that it doesn't actually make that much difference in cases where you have fairly low velocity like residential and like commercial. But it's the correct way, so we're going to do that as much as possible. So I'm actually going to take it and place it inside the air filter door with the tip pointing down in this orientation. While that isn't necessarily a perfect situation, it's going to be the best way for us to measure our total external static on this unit without having to drill additional holes. I'm going to place my positive probe in the duct, connect the supply duct to the positive, connect the return to the negative. So we have the return connected to the negative and the supply connected to the positive. And you can see that our total external static is 0.34 inches of water column on this system. The system is rated at 0.5 inches of water column on the data tag, which means that we're within our specification. Overall, it's a great test that you can do to a system to make sure that you don't have too much air pressure. The Testo Smart Probes kit puts it all in one nice, uh, easy to use case. Thanks for watching.